Hey guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells now today i'll be showing you guys how i created this braided curly hair look and today's hair is provided by ali pearl hair they sent me a few goodies in the bag some lashes some cute little headbands you know caps the little um Ali pearl card and you know a little edge brush and of course they sent over this 30 inch um curly hd lace wig and it does features you know some combs and adjustable strap inside the wig and the curl pattern is bomb like the wig is super full it is hd lace you have full parting space it is a frontal wig which means you have that full parting space from ear to ear and not a regular lace front and today i'll be using um one of my little sisters to create this look now y'all know if y'all been looking on like social media the braided wig styles have been trending like crazy and i recently did it um you know i recently did this style on myself but the braids was kind of going like sideways so i decided to recreate the look but doing the you know the braided style with the part down the middle and then you know doing my thing but for however um but however, we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this video. So first things first, I did go ahead and, you know, braid her down or her scalp. Um, use our scalp protecting from the Beautiful Hustler brand. Cleaned her with our alcohol. Did the, um, you know, did the whole nine for the prepping um, part. And now I'm jumping straight into installing the wig. So I took some Ruby Kisses foundation. And usually for her skin tone, I use palette 13 through 15. Uh, whichever one I get, I just use the darker shade and, you know, those palettes. They all kind of, you know, they all kind of look the same, um, like the browns in those palettes. So if you run out of one, you can use the other and, you know, it's still a workout just fine. And however, I am using, of course, my beautiful Hustler uh, Lace Mid Adhesive. So much positive feedback for all those who've purchased. Everybody is loving the glue. Um... I'm sorry if you DM me like videos or you tag me. I don't always see them because, you know, my Instagram DMs, um, they get requested. So I don't get notified whenever people send them. But I do like to take my time out, you know, once in a while and just go through my DMs. And if you wrote me, you know, nice things and you tagged me, I try to respond to everybody. And I do save everything. And I will be posting more reviews on our brand page really soon. So if you don't, you know, already, just go ahead and follow us on Instagram at underscore beautiful hustler. Also, our brand page is the Beautiful Hustler brand on IG. So make sure you go ahead and, you know, follow those two pages. So that way you can keep up when we have our restocks and you see new styles that I use. I mean, that I do using all of my products. But nevertheless, um, a few videos I got coming up is showing you guys how to do like a waterproof installation um install with you know me going underwater and everything so i do have a video like that coming up because it is hot girl summer city girls city boys time so y'all need to make sure y'all wigs are secured okay a lot of my clients been going to vacations in jamaica and mexico and puerto rico and they like listen waterproof me please so yes this is some real waterproof adhesive okay you have to make sure you follow the layer chart and, you know, I will go more into details, you know, when we get to our waterproof video. But in the meantime, um, what I did was just apply, I would say I applied like four layers, maybe five. I did like four or five layers for her install. And once I had that last layer on there, I did go ahead and, you know, wait for it to turn clear, as you see here. And now I'm just pulling that lace down right into that glue and for those of you know those beauties out there who have those low hairlines just apply the adhesive um you know like the natural shape of your hairline and you can just cut off the extra lace and you don't have to worry about your wig being too far down just apply it where it needs to be and you know just do it like that and you won't have no issues because for the most part all of us like me, my mom, my sisters, we all have like those low hairlines. So I know a lot of people with low hairlines be scared of getting lace wigs because they don't want them to be too far down. 
but um i will make an updated video on doing like low hairlines that way you guys can feel safe and don't have to worry about your wigs on your eyebrows and everything like that okay but um after i applied all of my layers and i tacked the wig down i do tie the lace down with my ultimate melt belts i am the creator of this you may see a lot of people you know that purchase my melt belts and they use them i know a few people on youtube that also do like videos they use it and you know other people on ig and other socials um they use this ultimate melt belt and of course one of all of our favorites slay by jordan he uses them and most of his um you know youtube videos as well so thank you both for always supporting period per and you know it's vice versa so yes thank y'all for everybody who do purchase my products and you use them you tag me i really do you know appreciate all the support and we're almost at 150k subscribers we're just right around the corner from it and i will be doing a big giveaway so make sure you guys are subscribing make sure you have your friends subscribing cousins for you know everybody aunties uncles it don't matter just get everybody to subscribe because once we hit that 150k mark it is giveaway time and i'm gonna be giving away so much wigs products money everything like just make sure you guys are tuned in i gotta show love back to those who show love and support to me i just got to okay but um what i'm doing now is just you know cutting off all of that extra lace and i seen somebody comment below um what like what is the purpose of a lace glider like why is my lace gliders different from any other razor and because my uh razors are double-sided it's like a dual product so you have your razor on one side and the other side of the glider is a comb so you can actually like you see me doing here i'm combing down the hairs that i need to move out of the way by parting them off and then i'm using the razor side to actually razor off the extra lace and it's just a convenient tool that way you don't have to keep stopping picking up your comb to you know part the hairs off you can just use the comb side of the lace glider to part off what you need to cut off and then you use your razor side and you cut off whatever you need to you know do so that is the benefit of the lace glider if you choose not to get it hey it's on you you can use a regular um you know what is it called razor that's up to you it's no big deal but it is a very convenient tool and i do highly recommend it that way you don't got to keep stopping and losing your comb because as stylists we never know where the comb is okay let's just keep it real okay so um now that i went ahead and cut off that extra lace i'm just taking down this little corner over here that didn't um get stuck all the way down so i just added like one layer over there and i just pushed it right on in and it stuck like nothing and i'm just gonna go ahead and blow dry it so it can completely melt in like the rest of the hairline but after we do this i am gonna go ahead and begin to pull down a section for the baby hairs so i like to kind of because we're doing the middle part braid look the first thing you want to do is part the hair down the center take your time y'all because I hate parts that are not in the center. So if you got to part that thing 15 times until you get it right, hey, just do what you got to do. But make sure you get that part nice, clean, and centered. And, you know, with proper steps, you can perfect the part towards the end of the install. And once you get that part lined up, um, you can go ahead and begin to pull down a section for your baby hairs. And that's what I'm doing right now. I just like to pull them down and just kind of plait them out the way. Um, try to pull down a thin layer. I kind of noticed it was a little too thick, so I went ahead and, you know, pulled some more out. And I'm just going to continue to part out the baby hair sections, um, pull them down, and then I'm going to get into my second step melting process. And for those of my beauties who know, you know, we get that foundation, we tap that hairline, we take our Tresemme holding spray, spray that hairline, and then we tie it and secure it with the melt belt once again for about 10 minutes to really let that holding spray dry and that will give you that like super melted result to like the 10th power okay because yes it's lace yes people say it look like screen doors you know the little jokes people make about lace and all of that um but the goal is to make it look as realistic and as melted as possible okay so just do 
these little techniques and I promise y'all it will make a big difference in your outcomes of your installs. But once we do apply that second round of foundation and we tie it down, that melt belt is going to do the rest of the job for you. It's going to be completely, completely melted. So once I'm done with that, I will go ahead and come back on and we will get into the braiding and the actual styling process. Unfortunately, I did not show y'all the baby hairs uh, step by step in this video, but if you do like the baby hairs and how I did like the heart baby hair, and everything like that just let me know down in the comments and i will go in detail on how to um create those heart baby hairs so i hope you guys enjoying this video so far make sure you give this video a thumbs up like comment and if you have not done so already subscribe
Okay guys, so we are back. We are removing that melt belt and I did uh, do one step before I tied down that hairline and basically what you guys see me do is just part off hair and the back of that frontal part of the wig and just hot comb using our uh, glam wax stick and I'm using my Kendra's Boutique, um, you know, pink studded hot comb and what I did was just part off a section in the back of that frontal like I mentioned and hot comb it over those tracks because this is a lace frontal wig so there is tracks in the back and of course the frontal in the front so you want to make sure that you make your install as neat and as seamless as possible so you want to be very very sure that before you do your braids in the style that you go ahead and um cover the back tracks and hot comb them you know hot comb some of that hair over those tracks and then I went ahead, like I mentioned, did the baby hairs. This is what the hair, um, you know, the baby hairs came out to be. Um, it was just one thing that I wish I did do differently. Like, because I did this new little trend look that's, you know, it's not as popular yet, but I know it's going to start blowing up. The little heart baby hairs. I felt like I, I, I did it. Like, my creative style wasn't all the way turned up until after I completed the baby hairs. But I really felt like a little heart in the center, like where I usually do like a little swimmy baby hair, like that center baby hair. I felt like if I would have created a little tiny heart in the center, it would have just set it off like to the 10th power. Like, I just felt like the, the hearts on the sideburns and that little baby heart in the middle would have just set it off. But I wasn't thinking, but you know... I could always do it in another video, so it's no big deal. But for this braided look, our main part is the center part. So you want to go ahead, like I mentioned before, have that uh, your client parted down the center. And you can go ahead and separate your hair into two parts. Now, what I did was once I got my center part, I started my part from the center. And I parted it going kind of like curved um, towards the side because I wanted the braids to curve outwards yeah like curve out and back so that way it can just fall easily towards you know like the sides and the back of the frontal i didn't want it directly sideways i wanted to start from the center and then curve its way back so in total it was only six braids i did three on each side but i used the middle part center as like the starting of where the part was so i just started with the first braid and then i'm going to pay attention to where that second braid is starting from the center as well but just dragging it kind of like curved and diagonal and then i'm gonna go ahead and braid that as well and i just going i'm going to do the same thing for both sides but i did want to you know show you you know guys in detail uh, me doing the braids now to get your braids super neat you can add, you know, a little wax stick and also just a tad bit of holding spray. Like you just spray a little bit on the sides and just kind of comb it through. That way the hair is kind of dry and it's easy to grip. So um, that's what I did. You know, sometimes if I felt like the hair was just too like soft, I added just a little holding spray to make it easier to grip with the dryness. But, you know, when you're doing your braids, take your time, do it till you like it. Make sure it's curving, you know, the way you want it to curve and everything. And once you get all the braids done, it's going to be so pretty. But before I finish, like, that final look, um, I'm going to show you guys one more trick that I do to make the parting stand out. And like I mentioned, y'all, take your time with your braids because sometimes I be having to start over until I feel like I got it where I need it to be. But just execute the look the best to your ability just put all your effort into it and you know you will you know you should have great results just go just go in just try your hardest for real y'all
So I got that one side completed and now I'm just finishing up on the other side. And honestly, y'all, um, I recommend that you do the baby hairs first and then do your braids. And the reason why I say that because you can have the baby hairs swoop into the braids much easier. I think that was my first mistake when I did like the first braided look. Like that's why I didn't really know how to do my baby hairs and I just, you know, went with the flow or whatever. But if you swoop your baby hairs first, you could kind of swoop them into the style that way when you braid, it'll all just kind of blend in. But if you do your braids first and your baby hairs afterwards, it's going to be kind of harder to get your baby hairs to blend with the rest of the style. And you might have to cut them really, really short or you're going to be like messing up the braid, trying to like smooth it into the braid. Just do the baby hairs first. Like go ham on your baby hairs. If you a baby hair kind of, you know, person, do them first, go hard, slay, do, you know, be creative with your look and then go ahead and braid your hair afterwards. And I promise you it's so much easier. And once you do the braids, you basically know that your style is finished versus now nah, you got to go in and do these baby hairs and try to get it to fit and all that. Yeah. We just going to take the easy route out and y'all can see i have my little oreo color here when i did this video period i hope y'all watched that video um i did release my oreo my oreo color hair tutorial so if you have not checked that out make sure you check it out as well but you know um i'm gonna be doing some you know new looks i'm like this week is really my actual official week of doing my last installs like as far as clients because y'all know i'm going on my little break for like two to three months so um i would still be doing youtube videos and everything like that as far as like on myself or if i'm feeling okay on my sisters or whatever but i would not be open to taking any clients until like maybe september um or october beginning of october i don't know yet but you know to all my beauties that fly out to me i love y'all for always supporting and sticking with me but i got a lot of changes that's gonna happen over the next few months so just stick with me bear with me y'all i'm not gonna abandon y'all i'm gonna bring y'all vlogs personal life and then i'm also gonna bring y'all you know tutorials as far as still styling myself or the people around me so um also if y'all have some other looks y'all want me to do it's so i wish that youtube had like a comment section where you could drop photos they don't have it yet but i know they'll probably be working on it but if you see like some raw little looks or colors that you want me to do just drop it in my dm on my brand page because i have too many dms on my hair page like over hundreds that i have not even opened yet so just um, on my Beautiful Hustler brand page, if you see a look that y'all want to recreate, just drop it in the DMs and, you know, it's easier for me to see it there than on my actual hair page because I need some new looks, okay? We need some new looks, some new styles, some new trends. We need something new to keep us excited and, you know, just new looks, period. But um, now that I'm done braiding all of this up, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use this little technique to clean up the parts. You can leave it like this. It's on you. But I still like my part to be kind of like 
fleeky, sharp. So what I'm going to do is lay the end of my wrap tail comb into the parting area and I use that black spray to spray around it. And then I'm going to go in with the same foundation color that I used um, to put on her lace and underneath her lace, which is that level 15 or 14 i don't know it was 13 15 whichever palette i use i just use the brown the you know like the darkest brown shade in there and i'm going to conceal all of the parts of those braids to make the parts really really stand out but do y'all see my little heart baby hairs on the sides yes period fluffing this hair out it was super full super pretty full parting space like i had no complaints about this wig and super easy to blend because it was hd lace but i'm taking that uh darker brown shade like i mentioned and i'm going to conceal those parts up this is optional you don't have to i just like to because it just to me it make it feel like the style gets cleaner so i'm just concealing the parts up and yeah let me know what y'all think down below about this look i'm gonna go in with a little bit of my defined curling mousse the mousse smells so good like if you have it and you it just smells so good like i'd be so obsessed with it when i put it in my curly hair but i really didn't want to make the curl a like the curl pattern and the style a wet look i really wanted to keep it more fluffy so that's why i just added just a little mousse not too much literally just a little bit to kind of define the curls a little bit more but i still wanted to go for that puffier look so i did not like soaking wet it and mousse it down to the ground no i didn't do that with this look but if you want like a real real wet look and you want me to do it using the mousse i would definitely do that because i'm getting ready to do a waterproof install video for y'all anyway so i'll get that thing soaking wet so y'all can really get into it but um overall the style is pretty much complete i'm just going with the wig brush and kind of teasing the hair out a little bit after i applied the mousse but let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up um share comment you know, all that good stuff. Um, thank y'all for tuning in to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Once again, don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bells, and stay tuned for more posts. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.